So here, uh, here it shows like the different uh, you know BI solutions available in the market. You can you must have heard of like there are proprietary tools which are big vendors uh, in the market like IBM, SaaS BI, SAP BI, Microsoft Oracle, and there are there are few like uh, which are new in the market, but they are they are doing pretty well. And uh, Pentaho JasperSoft is of course one of them, and it is basically an open source. So open source is nothing but uh, uh, which is uh, uh, you could say uh, uh, it is available to the end user anybody and they can actually download it and actually use it. So that is how it is available. And ClickTech and Tableau these are all you know blue, uh, you know new in the market with their own proprietary things. Okay, this is uh, this is how it shows like uh, what all different uh, data integration tools and analytics tools you have in the market. Like data integration tools like Informatica, we have shown here. So there are different uh, data integration tools for the ETL purpose available in the market like Informatica, SAS, uh, DI data integration. Similarly, Oracle also have one. So everyone has their own uh, data integration tool. Pentaho, of course, they have their Pentaho data integration tool. And for analytics purpose, we have the rapid miner here. Okay, so uh, yeah, uh, Ganapati uh, Govindan has asked one question: Talent does not fall in BI tools. Talent is a uh, is an it, uh, ETL tool basically. Okay. So, what are the existing challenges in the BI? Uh, so, here are like most of the established solutions are bulky, which adds to infrastructure costs. Like, yeah, uh, like I, as we just now seen that uh, the most of the BI, uh, you know, vendors which are there in the market, they are very, uh, very huge in cost. So, it is one of the problem which is there, and uh, of course the licensing cost of the uh, which is also very huge and now the uh, integration period is relatively high so it's always like how fast you can actually integrate your BI solution to your on top of your existing uh, infrastructure of the organization you have your ERP CRM so how fast you can actually integrate it uh, so that is one of the key area you need to focus on and then obviously once you have your uh, BI implemented so the maintenance cost is obviously uh, for could be high on that part. So, and if you think of new grid solution, it is difficult to get all BI offerings under the single hood. So it's like uh, the new uh, which, which we just discussed, the new tools in the market BI tools. Uh, it's not everything is available in the same thing. So it's like the BI lifecycle needs to be covered with the single BI tool. So uh, as we discussed, what are what is like uh, BI lifecycle? Yeah, Harsh has asked, uh, can you tell difference between BI and analytics? BI is nothing, uh, but it's it's more of the you can say the uh, solution or it's a uh, it's a uh, components and technologies which are bring together to have your uh, you know reports and things like could be developed and could be uh, given to the end user. Analytics is basically, uh, it's one step ahead of the, you could say the BI thing, not exactly one step ahead, but you are doing the analysis on top of the data. So BI is on hold. You can you could say it's a life cycle of the BI project. So you start with the requirement gathering and you end with the reporting. And analytics is basically you are doing the analysis on top of data through, through your reports and dashboards. I hope I, I, I made it clear. Okay. Now we'll, we'll uh, in the following slide we see uh, about the Pentaho to begin with by Pentaho. So uh, yes, it, it has got many uh, advantages. It's it's 
as uh, as mentioned here, few of them are like one stop solution for all business analytics needs. Yeah, it's it's kind of you have your the complete BI lifecycle can be covered or can be implemented using Pentaflow. Long integra uh, low integration time and infrastructure costs. Yes, it's it's very quick to integrate uh, with your existing infrastructure of the organization, and the cost wise is also very less because it's an open source. So the licensing cost and the you know things like that, it's very uh, you know less. Huge community support. Yes, this is very important. Uh, like you have uh, the Pentaho provides 24 by 7 uh, support to the customers and uh, they have very quick turnaround time of your queries and there are different forums and different uh, you know blogs are available on it which will which is very helpful easily scalable easily scalable as in uh, as I said the volume of data with the organization is very huge so it's uh, it can actually go up to billions of rows and you know actually have your uh, uh, data in that. So virtually unlimited visualization and data sources. Yeah, actually uh, I didn't mention that, but yes, you can actually uh, uh, what do you say in the ETL part, you can actually connect to virtually any kind of data source, whether it is big data, whether it is flat files, whether it is Excel, whether it is RDBMS, whether it is SAP. You could actually connect it to any kind of data sources you could think of. We'll, we'll see that all in detail in the following classes when we'll talk about the ETL in detail, the Pentaho data integration tool. Okay, easily integrated on top of existing infrastructure including any big data ecosystem. Yes, as I said, like you can actually, uh, the uh, BI need is, uh, like you, you, uh, you should be able to uh, you know, integrate it on top of the existing infrastructure of the organization. So it is very easy. You can actually integrate it with uh, any of the existing infrastructure. All core engines are open source and standalone projects with their own community and development plan. Yeah, what are, uh, yeah as I said, Pentaho is an open source uh, uh, tool. So uh, and uh, all of the standalone projects. So standalone projects is nothing but the uh, you know tools of Pentaho like Pentaho data integration tool, Pentaho report designer, Pentaho uh, metadata editor, Pentaho schema. So these are all standalone projects and uh, community projects, and they have their own development plan. So it is you know the, the every time you have some new features and things like that available to you. A very good tool set and which has far wider applicability beyond just the base product. Yeah, so uh, it's like uh, you uh, you can actually have your full BI lifecycle implemented with this uh, uh, you know tool. 